someone defines themselves when they reconnect with their spirit, their true essence, the nature that shapes who you are. Who am I? I am an alluring concentration of beauty, rainforests, beaches, and biodiversity. I live in the heart of the Americas, guarded by two seas. I am the deep green that entices those seeking relaxation and adventure. And I am so much more. In my essence live the warmth and authenticity of my people. People with open arms who look forward towards the future and welcome opportunities. I am a unique, happy, and caring nation that expresses itself through the diversity of its cultures. I am a cradle of human talent, proud people who embrace challenges. I am a nation governed in peace with a solid, long-standing democracy. I stand behind health, education, and the pursuit of self-development as the cornerstones of happiness. In my essence lie the preservation and care for the environment, a model to the world. I breathe the riches of my land, and I recognize the weight of my people, ever capable of giving more than expected. I am a trustworthy and reliable nation distinguished by the value of what I create. Human development, innovation, and a proven international competitiveness set me apart and enable me to export quality to the world. Those who come to know me are surprised, amazed. My greatest aspirations can be found in my concentrated essence. I am a country that attracts those who seek the value of excellence and the commitment to sustainability. I have much to offer those wishing to purchase, invest, produce, and develop. I have the required human and technological capabilities to achieve this. I rediscover myself by searching within. I find myself in what is vital, in what is true. I rediscover what is important. I am green. I am happiness. I am solidarity. I am talent. I am innovation, I am quality, I am diversity, I am concentration, I am essential Costa Rica. Good afternoon everyone. First of all, my gratitude to the International Ecotourism Society and Executive Director John Bruno and all authorities from Turkey present today and Excellencies, Ambassadors and other diplomats coming from different embassies here located in Turkey. This is Costa Rica, a glimpse of that. And it's very important to understand that sustainable tourism is a model, is a model of country. <laughs> well, let's start here and say one of the contents. Uh, there's many uh, factors that are important in Costa Rica and they order to value how to uh, approach to the idea of the sustainable tourism. Actually, Costa Rica has made uh, forward steps beyond the sustainability of today. We have an overview, first of all, it's related for historical background and our tourism model. Then, what is the model of the tourism and evolution and consolidation? Because, because for Costa Rica has been a transition. During every 10, 12 years, Costa Rica has been uh, remodeling uh, the, the way that to make a, a sustainable tourism. Our achievement in CST as a, as a differentiation tool, what Costa Rica uses to um, help the industry to promote and, cre and create better sustainable, sustainable uh, tourism.
This is an overview about Costa Rica. More of you know uh, about Costa Rica. Uh, up to today, well, it's, just, it's a very small country, 51 square kilometers, and almost 5 million people. Uh, we are in middle America, and uh, that's quite important because the location of Costa Rica is very important for us also to offer our tourism uh, possibilities. And uh, what is important to know is we have connected in an analytic way, not only in sustainable tourism, but also democracy, which is where Costa Rica is one of the oldest or maybe the older democracy in, in, in Latin America. And maybe in, uh, we don't have army since 1948. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Next, please. Uh, regarding protection of natural resources, uh, there are main uh, touristic resources in Costa Rica. Uh, to restore forest coverage, Costa Rica created a policy of tools. Uh, we dress forestation had covered 26% of the uh, country land in a, by public, public policies. Uh, but also by the private policies uh, created by the program we call PES, Costa Rica have restored 26 also the private uh, uh, forest areas. And, and this is a project we started in the 80s in which Costa Rica defines 35.3.5% per, uh, per, tax on fuel. And as we can say, it was the first carbon tax in the world. So we use this during the 80s and 90s to create a fund now helping to create and save these most uh, uh, protected areas. Because the 20, 25%, 26% of the, of the whole territory in Costa Rica is, is, uh, um, are protected areas in, in, in different ways as the national parks or in uh, protected uh, biological reserves, reservations. Uh, one of the main uh, first action Costa Rica uh, took in, uh, in their hands was to prevent deforestation and uh, create uh, different moments to uh, save the forest. And, uh, and uh, fifth, it's also important in the, C, the C, uh, CTS uh, program to, create, to help the companies, private companies, uh, to create a sustainable idea. Uh, for Costa Rica, Costa Rica, vision is more uh, than a tourist model. For Costa Rica, it's a country vision. It's a, it's, a toward, it's a contribution towards a sustainable development. And it is important to uh, distinguish uh, two, ta two, two type or two, clan, uh, two sort of uh, tourist, tourist model. The first one here is the what we call demand, tourism based on demand. Tourism based on demand requires a large investment, intensive use, let's say, um, it, that to use all the resources as much as possible, and also a quick return for this large investment. So once you make a big, big, big investment with a huge hotels, then you would expect to, to have a quick return on this investment. So, uh, and then that speed to, to recover the, this income or the, the, to recover this investment create a very low spillover in the society. And then also when we talk a demand uh, tourist model, destination is designed. Let's say like if, like if we go in different points of the world, it's created like, let's say, a big attractive areas or huge fun parks to attract people and they create a destination, uh, a design the destination for the tourism. And, and it's based in icons, big icons, you know, uh, struct big structures or uh, big fun parks or towers and that reflects an icon. In the other hand, we have the supply model of tourism, which is the one Costa Rica has developed. It's a small investment, so the small investment creates uh, maybe no uh, a, a very quick return, but this slow return 
create first limited uses of the resources which create less impact, not only in the society but also in the environment. And the spillover is bigger, much bigger than when you use large investment. Why? Because the spillover introduces the development of tourism in the society. So in small, in small villages, in small entrepreneurs and workers are more involved in the process than in a huge investment facilities in which the spillover is not happening because everybody else, every tourist is just in one place and they don't move from that place. The products in our, our uh, supply model are products, the products are designed, not the destination. And what it means products are designed? Well, you will visit a family, we can uh, teach you how to make local meals or local food or wellness in, the, in, the, in different places that you can uh, have access to thermal waters or um, indigenous plants or um, different uh, medicines. And we create our own image. We are now based in icons. We create our own image in a way that when you talk about Costa Rica, you're having the whole package. That's the difference in the two models. Next, please. So we can say in this model that you have just shown, Costa Rica is, is the, in, in the tourism model, the dependent tourism is the one that I call uh, the demand tourism. And in Costa Rica, we only have 4% of this kind of tourism. In other hands, the tourism that Costa Rica model is using is the adventure. So the, the tourist people have to adapt themselves what Costa Rica is having, offering. So that's what we call ecotourism in that hands, and this is mass tourism. So in this, in this moment, Costa Rica is located in light blue strip right there uh, because we also have a uh, dependent uh, model, but only 4% of our tourism. The, re the, the rest, 95%, are supply uh, tourism model in which we uh, look at the, at the tourists and those who want to adapt themselves to our model. Next. So this is, the, this is the, the, the stages that Costa Rica has walking by uh, in order to uh, evolu the evolution of our tourism. Um, for instance, um, the soft, uh, we start in the, in the, in the 80s uh, with what we call soft tourism. So at that time, the, the, the tourists come to see the nature, the natural uh, in the national places, or the volcanoes, or national parks, uh, attractions. Uh, but the, at that time, we have very poor, poor infrastructure, only permit to see these uh, attractions. But this short visit was only for three days, because there was only to see. So we, we evolved from, from, uh, from during this, these years to watch we designed to create with the private sector an evolution in order to um, uh, give more access and better infrastructure to the tourism in order to visit those um, uh, volcano national parks and attract national attractions. So we give, we give a big, big step at that moment. And that's what's happened because the government and the, sec the private sector, which was not designed by the government, was an idea for the uh, private sector, which the government embraces uh, at that time and is still, uh, with an incentive tourism law, which is give taxes exemptions for those who want to invest in, in sustainable tourism. And then, with this idea, the visitor can do things, activities, because a better infrastructure was created. So we create the adventure, adventure tourism, so the people were more involved in activities like rafting, canopy, and be more connected with the fauna and flora in the country. But even though that creates a negative impact, so that's why we make a new step in the sustainable tourism from 2000, the year 2000. Here we change the travel to see to travel to do 
would just jump to travel to Milan so that tourist visitor will be more involved in the idea to be sustainable, to be part of the history, to be part of the place, not only as a visitor, to become a family and to be, become part of the concept. Um, for, for this achievement, uh, uh, because start creating uh, this uh, policy, start creating negative impacts. So um, uh, the Costa Rican government and the private sector create what we uh, later call the uh, certificates or sustainable uh, tourism certificates. The visitor then wants to belong to this community. And those two very important points I can, I can, I can uh, mention here. First of all, this mechanism was, was designed by the private sector, was their vision. But, and, and the second, uh, we create a differentiation uh, by these certificates. And then, experience, <coughs> no, stay. Uh, now, this is what Costa Rica is now facing, which is the experiment society. And I want to finish here with this. What is the next step for Costa Rica? Next step for Costa Rica is to create an experimentation uh, in which the person pass to, or the visitor pass from the, just to be a part of this, to, uh, as, a, as a part of the family, to be part of the society. What, what means uh, the experimentation in gastronomy experience and wellness experience will be a whole trip in uh, an organic, family-oriented health and contributing to society. This is in short terms, certified for uh, sustainable tourism history. So the history is not ended. Finally, uh, Costa Rica is very willing to share its model for the rest of countries in the world are interested to, and Embassy of Costa Rica is willing to have contact with any company or any group of entrepreneurs or the government itself to want to share ideas about how to create ecotourism. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for the invitation.